what's up youtube it's your girl sweet and low as you can see i'm driving in the car um went to go pick me up something to eat and uh for my family but before we get into this topic i need you to hit that subscribe button hit that thumbs up you know share 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 you know do whatever you need to do to support your girl sweet and low also hey to my facebook fam and my instagram fam so we're gonna be right back and we're gonna get into this topic because it's getting deep okay y'all as you can see in my title tim norman this dude he is unstoppable so the thing that's going on now, it's being said that he put a million dollar life insurance policy on his mother. His mother, Robbie Montgomery, the one that, that sat there and had your back the whole time that you was in prison. Now, bump that. The one who carried you, gave birth to you and gave you life, raised you fed you, clothed you, all that. And you actually sat there and put a million dollar policy out on your mom. If that's not demented and evil, I don't know what is. This man had to truly, 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 truly be jealous of his own family, his own mother. It was coming out that he was even jealous of Andre what y'all my mind right now is blow it, it was it's so blow that I could even wait to get home and, and fix my sandwich I had to speak on this right now at this moment because that's ridiculous that's scary that's sad this out it okay first you said that and put a policy out on your nephew 2014 you said that add a rider to the policy for fifty thousand dollars more um in in case he dies within the next 10 years. That's something new. You conspired with a stripper. You conspired with your insurance agent. But you conspired also enough that you sat there and you waited for two years to take your nephew's life and then you didn't even get the money guess what y'all because you didn't turn in the rest of the paperwork so you killed your nephew for nothing now it's done came out that you done got a million dollar policy out on your mother Poor Miss Robbie, I know right now she is probably she, she, you know what, we just gotta pray for her we gotta pray for her because I know right now her mind is all over the place all over the place as much as you sat there, and when I say you, I'm talking about Miss Robbie. As much as you sat there when Andre passed away and you kept saying um, this had to be somewhere, someone close to him. And for it to find out that it was your son. Then to find out that your son got him murdered for some insurance money. And then to find out next that now he also had a million dollar insurance policy out on you. 
Y'all, just imagine how Miss Robbie right now feeling. Just imagine. I know right now her her I know she's hurt. I know this lady is hurt, y'all. I know she is. I'm hurt for her. So we we all collectively as human beings we need to pray for her. We need to pray that they that they do find out that uh, who the ki who the killer is. Do y'all think Terrica is gonna talk? Do y'all do y'all feel like? Comment below and tell me. Do y'all feel like Terrica is going to speak on who uh, who did it? Do you think she might turn like try to turn like state witness? Or they, or, or they give her that opportunity and she has to let them know who um, who was the actual shooter. Y'all, this story is getting deep. It's, it's, just, it's just too much to, to uh, what's the word I'm going to look for? Too much to handle, to take in. Because if he did that to Andre, if he put an insurance policy out on his mama, who else in the family did he have an insurance policy on as well? Because they was doing some fraudulent stuff. Him and his ins insurance agent, ex-producer, right? And the fact that you didn't even get the money because you didn't turn in all the proper paperwork. That right there should have told you you have no business thinking like this, scheming like this, and wanting to do it. But when the devil is inside of someone, that devil riding them hard. Riding them hard. You hear me? So, y'all... I'm going to continue having my ears and my eyes open to this situation, to the info that's coming out. And the more info I get that I find that's credible, the more that I will report back to y'all. So, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that thumbs up, hit that bell, you know, so you can get notifications of all my videos. And share, share, share. Stay blessed. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Until the next video, y'all. Bye.